Hello, my name is Kieran O'Mahony. I'm a vet working at the Glen Veterinary Clinic in Tipperary. In my experience, IBR has been a significant issue in herds over the past few years. The IBR virus is very contagious and can travel in the air up to three to five metres. So contact with neighbouring stock increases the risk of exposure to the virus. Bought in stock are also a common way for the IBR virus to spread between herds and it can also be spread via people or contaminated farm equipment. It has been estimated that an animal infected with the IBR virus can have a milk production loss of over 9 kgs over the course of a 14 day infection period. In any outbreak, it is important that the naive animals, in particular in the herd, are protected as they will be the ones that will shed the most virus and show the greatest clinical signs after infection. When devising a control strategy for IBR with my clients, I generally advise strategic blood sampling so that we can establish whether the prevalence of IBR in the herd is low, medium or high. I have also found regular bulk milk sampling useful when monitoring herds. I have found vaccination with the Bovillus IBR marker live to be a very successful part of the overall control plan I devise with my clients. And I advise a programme where the herd is vaccinated with this live vaccine every six months, typically January and July each year in the herds that I have that are spring calving. This regime is simple, easy to remember and easy to implement. I would say that approximately 60% of my dairy clients and 40% of my beef clients are currently vaccinating using the Bovillus IBR Mark Alive six month program. I have found that sitting down with my clients and planning a control strategy with them for IBR has been an essential and successful part of our herd health service.